Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pennsylvania with me, Dear Tebbers, and our Pennsylvania life. Pennsylvania life. Hey, cows, I see you through the window. I see cows through the window. All right. We have, ahem, uh, we've made some money. I saw how much we make in cow moo juice. Cow moo juice? Uh, milk. Uh, in the overnights. Holy cow, we're going to keep working that. $30,000 from our cows. We don't have that many cows, mind you. We have... Um, 50. We only have 50 cows. We made 30,000 beautiful dollars. So I think we're going to probably invest some more in getting more cows. I did note that I need to... Um, did I... By the way, guys, did I sell... <laughs> did I sell the skid steer? I don't remember. I have to go look and see if I actually sold the skid steer or if it's sitting around in the farm somewhere. I could tab around, but this is just easier. No, nope, nope, nope. I sold the skid steer. Okay. Where the heck is the... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do something off screen. I didn't do it. I was going to move this stuff and move stuff around. I just didn't do it because I don't remember why, but I didn't. All right. We need to move the... Oops, start, you booger. Uh, thing. Let me turn the track. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> we have to go move the... Oh, gosh. I don't remember what I need to move. Oh, the, the, the thing for the sheep. I need to move the sheeps. So we're going to put this here. All right. Hey, I want to turn the tractor down a little bit more. There. Okay, tractor. Be quiet. Uh, can I get in here and get this without causing complete chaos? Yes. Alright, so we're going to go get the uh, wool, and then we're going to have to transport it and sell it, but we'll we'll get to that eventually. I just want to clear it out of here so the sheep can continue working. So we have several things we need to do today. I know the sheep are not really working so much as whatever. Um, <clears throat> I need to do some, some harvesting... I'm supposed to say, are you opening or not? Jeez. Uh, we need to do some harvesting of that. Um, the, the, the fruits. And get, and make sure our, our, our little storehouse is properly stored. Uh, for the fruit. Make sure the sheep don't get out. That'd be bad if the sheep got out. Um... Got to make sure our little our little selling stand is properly stocked with fruits, because that's important. And we need to make sure that the cows are are still in full production. How many of these do I have? I only have two. Well, I want to wait till I have six, because I think at that point it'll be worth it to. Um, really? What is going on here? There. And then go forward. I want to push you both in there. Thank you. There. That should work. Fence. <laughs> yep, that's a fence. Shouldn't run it over. All right. So the um, oops. The the things I I'd, I'd like to do relatively quickly are getting the the cow the cows further along. Well, we gotta we gotta give them more more mixed rations, which is a pain in the butt. I'm I'm starting to get like mixed ration fatigue here. I need to get the the bigger container for mixed rations eventually. And, all right, perfect. Uh, we have to get some grass in for the animals, so that's something we're gonna have to do. And. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we have more things in the long list of things we need to get done. Where's my other tractor, by the way? What are you doing? Oh, you're just doing nothing. Ah. Well, bully for you then. Um. Cool. <laughs> right. That's going to be the tractor that's going to go doing the, the mowing, I think, probably. All right, let's sort of center everybody up there. All right. 
Guess I'll need to get in here. Because I think we'll go ahead and try to empty out some of this stuff. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Instead of moving it, let's just empty it because it's just easier. Alright, so I think I want two bales of... I'm going to try and do it this in, in cab because inside this building here, it's really hard to do. Um, to do it out of the cab because you end up like going through the roof and stuff. Alright, so that. And back off of it. Oh, bugger. There. Alright, so now straighten that out. Lower. There we go. There we go. We got both of them. Boink. And then I just need to drive carefully. Ha! <laughs> I need to drive carefully. Let me run into something right away. Yes. That's called careful driving. Woo! Look at that turn. Professional turning. And woo. Oh, you son of a monkey. Ah, you know, that was going to be really cool, and then it became not. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out where I pick up my, um, my completed beef cows here pretty soon. Because I've got four completed beef cows. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, haul them off eventually. Once I, you know, complete all of them. Oh, you stinker. There. Apparently that's what I needed to do. All right, fine. Be that way. All right. Ugh. <laughs> Sometimes driving outside just makes me kind of... Uh, Sometimes driving inside makes me nauseous, so, you know, whatever. Um, let's grab the two here. And there we go. Look at that. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Let's not run into things this time. Aha! I made it up without running over anything, running into anything. Now, let's see if we can not have a repeat. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go up like this. And then back off. Woohoo! Look at that! It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Alright, where are we here? Uh, okay. I need... I need to hope I didn't put too much straw in there just now. That's the first thing I need to do. Should be okay, I hope. Need to go get my scooper. Which is currently full of pooper. So let's hope that the... Uh, my little... Uh, Greenhouse has, has used up some enough poop that we can get empty out this thing. Woo! 2,000. Hmm. Somehow I don't think so, but we'll find out. Alright, let's do this from out here. Ninety-eight, really? Well, you know what we're gonna do. <laughs> That's the professional way to get rid of what you don't want. Just dump it. <laughs> Good lord. There, drive properly for change. Alright, there we go. So we made $30,000 on milk. Wow. Um, so that, that to me is huge. I mean, that's a lot of... 
It's a lot of money on milk. And when you think about it, when you think about, you know, we're doing 30 grand a day on milk. We're doing 440 an hour with everything else. That's so 440 an hour. I mean, that's 4,400 plus two, well, plus 880, so 40, 50, 5280, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, $5,000 a day and other. So we're making almost 40 grand a day. Um, all right, let's... Uh, I'm kind of afraid if I put another scoop in there, I'm going to screw up the mix. So let's not. And just say we did. All right. Sounds like a good idea. All right. So now. Nope. Go the other way, idiot. Also, go open the door before you try to back into it. Good grief. Um, so we're making 30. Really? Ugh. 35 a day. 40 a day. 40 a day? Something like that. That's not bad. You really think about it? Hey. All of you are like, ah, oh, he'll never make that turn. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's get this open. And unload. Alright. So we're adding 25, so we're going to be about 50,000 liters of mixed <laughs> so that's good um what else is low nothing else is really super super low we're at about 50 percent on our manure so really we can start dropping more greenhouses i think Yeah, I think we can start dropping more greenhouses, people. So if I put another 25, we'll be at 75,000. Basically, if I do one of these a day, then I have everything done. Yeah. I'm going to stop parking in such a stupid spot, though. I'm going to put it over here. There we go. All right, so takes care of that. This, I believe, has grass in it. It does. Oops, start, you booger. All right, uh, let's go back to get the... Nope, not that way. That way. Okay, so the sheep. This will max up the sheep, so we won't have any problems there. Don't you dare come out of this opening, sheep. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I need to get some hay. Don't you dare, sheep. I see you thinking about it. All right. So that is that. Okay. So we have a little bit left. All right. So the sheep are taken care of. Come on. The cows are taken care of. Chickens, uh, I, I, I could care less about. And then the beef cattle are okay too. So what we really need is, um, what we really need is just to get some hay in and to take care of, um, this is probably a bad idea. Because I bet you it's going to send me flying when I try to take these. Um, hey, idiot. You only have a rear hitch on this thing. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Jeez. Um, remember. 
We're gonna go. We're gonna go collect cherries, people. We're gonna go collect cherries. Oh my goodness! What was I gonna say? Those are apples. Our cherries are over here. Um. All right. So if we get more, uh, if we get more um, greenhouses out. then that'll take care of some of our manure buildup. And it's really the only way to get rid of manure, is it? Well, other than use it as a fertilizer, but what would I rather do? I mean, fertilizing really... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we're full. I think this but this basket contains more capacity than my uh, selling facility can actually handle. Um, words, 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 words. Okay, so I think we need to bring in some hay bales. Not so, yes, some hay bales, not some straw. We need some hay because we only have two stacks of hay left. Yeah, <laughs> so we're a little bit light on the hay. And I gotta, I gotta figure out where the, the trigger point is. Ah, mode. There you go. Um. Okay. All right. So we gotta bring in hay. And I think we need some more greenhouses. Now the question is, do I, what do I do with my fields here? I bring in a lot of straw and that's great. Do I buy another, I don't want to buy another. Let's say, do I buy another field to put more greenhouses in? But that feels wrong. So I think what we'll end up doing is, is we're going to, um, I don't think I can really get another, well, maybe I could, I could probably get one more greenhouse in here, two if I really want to push it, I don't know how much I really want to push it, um, We're going to put this over here this time instead of under there. So I just have a feeling that this is going to be a disaster here in a minute. All right, whatever. Um, I think when I back into here, we're going to have a problem. Nope, nope, nope. It did not fling me into space, which I'm actually shocked by. I kind of expected to end up being a space tractor, but... All right, cool. Um... Maneuverability why yeah, I guess I could put two more greenhouses in here. And it takes manure and water. That's really it. So Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say twenty five grand dropped on an, on another well fifty grand I guess on two more greenhouses. When you think about the fact that we're making forty well thirty something on milk, we're gonna come out okay. Yeah, we'll be we'll be fine. Fine, I hope. <laughs> but I am going to have to get in hay, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Hay is going to be hay is going to be a requirement. We're going to have to we're going to have to do that. Uh, I kind of want to look around at what else I can do, but I don't know what else there really is. Um 
Well, we could put in the... Well, we'd have to plant more trees. I was going to say, we, we could put in... Um, fruit wine and jam processing, but then we'd have to put in more trees. I feel. I don't think, I don't think we could get away with six trees each if we're going to do jam and fruit wine. Now, depending on the... Um, Depending on the greenhouses, of course, we could put in a strawberry greenhouse. If I do that, then it would make sense to do, I think, jam? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's put this up, and then we got apples. And then we got to do... And we got to do hay, really. we've got, what do we got? Six, we got 12 bales there. Yeah. We've got 12 bales. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five. That's six days of mixed rations. So, ah, oh, I almost crashed. Six days of mixed rations. Technically, the straw is more days because I could get away with less, but... Okay. All right. Why do apples take so long to pick? Everything else picks super fast. It's the apples and the pears. They're a different mod, but... You know, it's been like 20 minutes, and I haven't asked you guys how you've been. How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're uh, enjoying the Farm Sim 17 play that I've started. Uh, what else? I've been playing a lot of American Truck by myself. Uh, because I was like, I, you know what? I kind of quit American Truck because I was annoyed. Because I was like, ah, these guys, they're not developing things fast enough. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, let me play the game for a while. And see if my attitude change. My attitude doesn't change. It was released too soon. Phys uh, mechanically, the game is great. Mechanically, it's sound. It's solid. No problems. It's the lack of content that's become the problem now. So mechanically, the game is fine. Content-wise, it's not... It's not there. It's not there at all. Which is kind of sad. But, hey, whatever. So we're doing that. I was going to go back and... Ooh, yawn. Gonna, I was going to go back and do some ETS2, but of course, you know, the ETS2 upgraded. Pro Mods needs an upgrade. I'm tired of playing that upgrade chase game, so I was just like, screw it. Didn't bother. Okay, apples, you don't produce nearly as much as I thought you would. I should have known that because it's actually documented somewhere in my plethora of agribusiness crap, but hey, whatever. All right, let's... So we'll get that done, so then we'll get our hourly... Uh... <sighs> Crash into the building. Good job. We'll get our hourly... Sale of apples and plums and cherries. 91%. Yeah, well. Alright, so that's good for us. Get some money going there. Now, I think we will, uh, we need to do some, some mowing. We'll, we'll buy the extra greenhouses at the end. I think. I don't know why. I just feel like it. <laughs> That's how it's going to work because I feel like it. Yeah, I've got I've got so much straw compared to to hay. Yeah, we gotta gotta do something about that. Gotta do something about that. I think this tractor can do the cutting. Almost positive it can do the cutting. Okay. 
The first question is, where in the world did I put the... Oh, I know where it is. Never mind. <laughs> where did I put the mower? Hmm. Good question, Dare. Why did you put the mower up there? I don't know. I just did. Leave me alone. Gotta go get the mower. The mower. Watch out, chicken. You're dead. Alright. Let's go and mow some grasses. Okay, it feels like this mower might be too much for this tractor. I thought it was fine with this tractor. Am I wrong? Okay, that's gonna annoy me. Stop. You! Shh. Thank you. Uh, it seems to be. Ah, oh, well, who knows? It doesn't lift the front, but maybe it just takes just enough off the front to make it strange. I don't know. All right, let's let's get this let's get this going. Um, there for all of you that yelled at me last time. <laughs> uh, I had so many people comment. Hey, you're mowing wrong. I'm gonna go in the creek if I'm not careful. All right. We'll mow this little bit of land we got up. And we'll see what we get out of it. I don't know what we're gonna get out of it, honestly. We haven't, we haven't actually done anything with this since I seeded it back with grass. And I kind of thought after I did it, I was like, maybe that was a mistake to see this back with grass. But since it's the reset point for all of the implements, it's like, yeah, you know, either I stop resetting, which I try not to reset as much as possible. But, you know, sometimes it just has to be done. Um, but because it's the reset point, it just doesn't feel great if I if I reset it into the middle of one of my fields of crop, so. Grass it is. Whoa, hello. What happened? Oh, I know what happened. Ah. This happens every once in a while with this. There we go. It happens every once in a while with this mower where the um, the hitch point gets torqued over too far and then it gets stuck on itself. It's very annoying, actually. It's worse when you when you have it operating like this off on the side. It actually doesn't behave misbehave as much when you operate it directly behind the tractor. Okay. Also, I think um, changes in the. You see how it goes downhill right here? I think that also affects the behavior of that little catch this mower has. Go. I made it without getting caught. What else have I been playing lately? Not a lot. Uh, car mechanic. I was toying around with car mechanic. I don't remember why. I th I think it was mainly because I was just like... The thing about car mechanic is you turn off the noise of the game. You turn on a movie or something, a, a YouTube video on the other screen, and you don't really have to pay much attention to the game. <laughs> Unlike with um, American Trek or Euro Trek, where if you do that, you end up crashed to a wood or something. There was something I was wondering, and I was going to ask you guys about it. Now I've forgotten something I was... Oops, we've gotten caught again. Ugh. 
Alright, you know what? Must Ooh, hello. Stop doing it that way. And then we gotta bump it. Pull forward. There we go. Yep. Alright. Everyone who says I'm mowing wrong, get over it. <laughs> I'm tired of getting caught by my by the glitch in the mower. Or the matrix. One or the other. Um ah, what was it? I was gonna ask something and then I completely spaced. Oh well, I don't remember. Christmas is almost here. Woohoo, Christmas. I'm not a huge Christmas fan, but you know. I know some people really like them at Christmas. I'm kind of neutral on the whole Christmas thing. I like the idea behind St. Nicholas Day, or the Feast of St. Nicholas. Um, one time when I was in, um, where was I? Oh, I was in Antwerp when uh, St. Nicholas came. That was pretty cool. I, I just hung out at the parade and just watched the parade, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. If you don't know anything about the Feast of St. Nicholas, I'm sure Wikipedia can tell you everything you need to know. Uh, yeah, I was just in Antwerp for... I don't even remember. Oh, I was in Antwerp because I was going to Bel to Brussels, and I had a weekend, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go to Antwerp. Went to the Red Star Line Museum there. That's a pretty cool museum. I like me museums. See, it doesn't get caught when I do it like this, but it gets caught when I have it offset. I don't know. I think the best part about my trip to Antwerp was it was like, I don't know, four, you know, six o'clock in the morning on a, on a Sunday. Yeah, it was six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. And I was, I was walking down. It couldn't have been six. It had to be later than that. I don't know. Anyway, it was early in the morning anyway, regardless of, of what time it was. It was it was relatively early. And I was just walking and there was a club that was just closing down. Right in downtown. I was like, oh, that's just cool. Alright. I don't know why I thought it was cool. I just did. Oh, go the other way, Gibbon. Bad Gibbon! Do not go the backwards! Go the forwards! There we go. Alright, so we're gonna get our grass. I'm gonna fill up the, um, the little self propelled critter we got <coughs> with grass, just so we have it stockpiled. <clears throat> Everything else we're gonna turn into to hay. And we'll stockpile the hay. And then then we'll have plenty of that, I hope. And we've got the straw. We've got the silage. So really, we're almost to the point where it's, we're just growing crop to maintain the animals. And I like that. I think that's cool. That we're that far along. Uh, I've got animals, I've got animals. Now I've been thinking about other ways to make a quick buck in this game, um, in, in this particular area in, of Pennsylvania, and I think the only thing really left is a few, a few odd jobs with trees. Um, I'm gonna kind of call around, see, you know, can I get, can I get a few bucks here and there for, for doing some quick tree work? Because that, I mean, I know you guys really hate trees, but. <clears throat> If I do some quick tree work, just bish bash bosh, 
and we can bring in a good chunk of change, then, then we've made a success. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like the land that I was looking at in Washington State. It's like, oh, look at this land. It's got, it's got harvestable lumber on it. Ah, this land is good land. And someone else bought it, so, you know, whatever. And someone else thought the same thing I did. Hey, cut the tumber, the, the tumber? Cut the lumber down and um, pay off the land with the lumber. Yeah. Right, there we go. The one thing I'm enjoying about Farm Sim 13 over 17 is the plethora of mods that have been out for so long and are in such good shape. And the maps, 17 maps will get there, but a lot of them right now are converts off of 15. That's fine and all, but it's just like, okay, come on. I need agribusiness in 17. What else do I need in 17? <laughs> mm. Really, I think that's, I mean, once you throw in agribusiness, you're starting to get... I did that, that uh, game quick look at Farm Expert. Game is horrible. <clears throat> don't, don't get me wrong, game is horrible. I did find out how to get rid of the flicker. That's called turning off your SLI, which most people might not even notice because not everyone has, in fact, most people don't, have SLI. It's just annoying that it's like, oh, I'm going to flicker like crazy because you have too powerful of a computer. Ha uh -huh. uh, Really? Anyway, um, the thing that game has going for it <clears throat> is you can improve your farm by adding stuff so you can like add build build facilities at your farm which i think is great but the other thing is it's got this 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 much more complex structure around it for business within the game like you like you can build the the processing for your 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 fruits and then you can you can build up your fruit farm and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's stuff that giants could add. Mod authors are adding, but giants could add it. But hey, we got pigs, right? <laughs> Improvements. Improvements. I need a bigger mower. <laughs> I need a bigger moa. Actually, this this field would not go amiss with a butterfly mower. Those big folding monsters, but trying to keep as much as possible to mod only equipment. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be done eventually, I promised. <laughs> uh, it's like it's like you know when you're um, you're a teenager, some of you are teenagers, and you're told to, to go mow the lawn, and it's the most boring thing ever. It's like, oh my gosh, why do I have to mow the lawn? And then and then I don't know if you do this. I did I did this when I was mowing the lawn. It was like, let me see if I can find the fastest way to mow this lawn. Like, what obstacles are there in the lawn? How can I mow the lawn in such a way that I never pass over anything that I've mowed prior? And I do it in the least number of turns. Or the least number of moves, basically. That's what I ended up doing. Now, where we were, most of our lawn was a sand pit because we were on top of a sand hill. But, um... So it was more like mowing the sand, which wasn't wasn't really all that fun. We had a riding lawnmower, but it wasn't it wasn't fun at all, actually, because the the sand literally sandblasted the blades to the point that after maybe three times, it was, hey, dare go mow the lawn, 
and I go out there and I'd be like, oh gosh, this is the third time. And I'd look underneath the mowing deck and then I'd be like, I shouldn't have looked into the mowing deck. Now I've got to pull the blades off and I've got to sharpen them. I was always happy when I'd look under it and be like, oh, that blade is really thin. Ah, I can't be resharpened. Ah, ha, ha, I can notch through the lawn. We need new blades. Then my dad would go to the store and buy new blades and he'd hand me the blades. And I'd be like, oh, crap. Hey, hello. There we go. What are we going to do? We have we, we need to keep our fields sort of in a, some sort of producing scheme, I think. Don't you guys think? Do, well, actually, do we need to? Do we need to keep our fields in a producing scheme, or do we think we're okay just not doing that? I'm sort of leaning towards not keeping them on a producing scheme, meaning that... I just let them sit unless I need them. We don't pay taxes on the land. So we have no carry cost on the land. I think it might be the best way to go, honestly. Now I could drop the cultivator on there and cultivate them and have them prepped and ready to roll. but just not not put them into culti into cultivation. No, actually let him just sit fallow probably is the best way to do it. If I'm going to leave them, but the question is do I leave them? I mean the money that we would make bringing in what do we have in um, storage? So wheat that's how many wheat and barley that was wheat and barley that's 33 and 28,000 and that was from doing that field and that field the two big fields twice I think so we're not getting a lot in terms of crop I think the best thing we could do is probably going to be to buy another 50 cows. I think that's what our best bet's going to be. I think we should buy two greenhouses and 50 cows. And then... Yeah, because if I buy two greenhouses and 50 cows, if I can keep the production equal to what it's doing right now, it means I'm making 60 plus that. So probably, <clears throat> probably pushing 70 grand a day in milk and other. That would be... 70 grand a day in milk and other. That's a huge. I mean, I still think I'm probably going to go and, and talk to the to the people over at the lumber yard and see if they want me to cut down some trees for them because we can do that really, really easy. And we can use the telehandler to just haul the logs. That's what I'm hoping to do. I could, uh, I was gonna say I could put that small field into grass, but then it's just another field of grass. So I've got the two big fields, and then that that kind of big field that's close to the big field. <laughs> uh, be a little bit more specific there. Five, six, and seven. Well, three, five, six, and seven, really, is what I've been keeping under some sort of cultivation. Eight's been sort of fallow since we last, since we pulled the crop off of it. 
I think. I mean, I know we were going to put sugar beets on it. And I really want to wait on the, um, I'm picking up pigs until we finish the beef cows, just to get an idea of what my, um, what my ROI is going to be on that. Because I don't want to go spending the money if uh, the return is not good enough. I don't think the pigs actually need the, the root vegetables. I think they can get away without. Just like the... Um, even though root vegetables are listed for the... Um, get stuck. Uh, for the, the beef cows, they're not actually required. Huh. Well, we have finished that. <laughs> we finished cutting grass. That was fun. Oh, screw it. Go across here. Woo! So I could leave these fields for now, but if I converted them... I don't know. If I if I if I you make use of them, I'm gonna get a little dribble of money. I don't think it's I personally don't think it's enough to justify the work, but maybe you guys think differently. The other advantage of doing that this way is um I don't have to spend the money on renting the harvester. Because I don't need it. I mean I'll need it every time I need to um Uh, I'll need to rent the harvester every time I need to get straw, but we'll be okay. Uh, B. There we go. Um, yeah. So we'll have we'll we'll have to get it, you know, rent the harvester anyway. But it won't be as con constant. as it would otherwise have to be. So now he's have to get this all tetted and bailed and then stacked and hauled back. Hopefully, you know, I'm kind of, kind of thinking I should get a bigger trailer. But if I get a bigger trailer, it's going to be, well, because I got, what did I get on that? Well, see, the problem with the trailer I have, of course, is I can't take a whole stack off at once. Because of the gravity well. Huh. I think I I think I'll go grab uh, should somewhere have all of my mods from this here. Yeah. I might go grab some mods for this. See if I can find the trailer I want. Because if I can, really, really device, really, whatever. Um, if I can get a better trailer, I could probably speed up getting up the hay and straw in because I don't have to, my struggle right now, of course, is that I can only take one at a time off the trailer and that's annoying. I'm not gonna spend the hundred grand on the auto stacker.
Having said that, do I have? I do, don't I? I have the I have the baler with the. Yes, I have the baler where they have an auto stacker. I wonder if it would work on this field. It's the small auto stacker, so it's only short. I still have to transport it though, so I still need a better trailer. All right, so I'm going to have to get a better trail. I'll, I'll look for a gooseneck or something. I know I've got one. It's just a matter of finding it in my files. <laughs> that's that's always my struggle. <laughs> download too many mods. There you download too many mods. I do like having a, a bigger, bigger tether and wind rowers. It's so nice to have large enough equipment to reach. This is a nice, fast job here. We'll get everything lined up. I, and will I do that on screen? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I was like, do I want to do that on screen or off screen? I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, probably. Well, I definitely won't bail off screen because if I do pick up that... I do put the a trailer in here and pick up that, that small stacker unit that goes on the back of that baler. I will have to test that, I think, because I think that's, that thing was so heavy as a unit that I think I had to use the, the, the tracked case in my, in my mod spotlight in order to get the thing to move. Huh. Not more than like two. <laughs> yeah, well, we can always give it a try, right? I mean, if it if it fails spectacularly, it'll just be a standard Dare Tubbers episode of Farm Sim, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. All right, we're gonna make this turn. We're gonna buy some cows. This isn't going to be the last turn, is it? I'm going to have to come back up here, aren't I? Probably. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, will it be wide enough? Looks like it will be. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. There we go. And boop, just like that. Now, I know I, I've got um, that other field over there, but I'm going to use the, uh, the little pickup truck on that. The little, like, literally, it picks stuff up truck. I want to yeah, check really quick. This thing does have the little hitch, right? Not crazy. I am not crazy. It does have the hitch. How much is that sucker? Um, boop, boop, boop. Bailing. Boop -a -doo -boo. 45 grand for that bale stacker. Eight bales. All right. Um, I'll have to think about that. Okay, we were going to buy placeables. So we got tomatoes. I think we're going to buy lettuce. Lettuce by lettuce. <laughs> All right, let's rotate it right around. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. So I don't know if I do. Uh, okay, that is going to be a problem. Well, if I do... Th uh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I could do that with it. That's stupid. Um, see, my problem is... That's not going to be enough space. I mean, I can get these guys really close to each other. The problem is I don't have enough space to get to that water tank. With that big tanker trailer I have. Ah. Uh, all right, so we're not going to be buying one of those. I am thinking we might buy one of these, though. No, no, let's not. All right, animals. We were going to buy 50 more beef cows, uh, not beef cows, regular cows. 
52. Flashing 60. 70. 80. 90. And a hundred cows. Excellent. We now have a hundred cows. Um <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's... I'm not going to be able to put two in here. I can only put one in here. Uh, if I had properly set sighted this, you know, I couldn't really have done much better than I did. Well, if I moved this this direction slightly, I probably could have done it, but... Yeah. I need a pretty... I need a good tractor's width plus to get in here with that trailer to put water in here. Yeah, that's not going to work. But, 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 I think we will go with a solar panel, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Because I think I can get a solar panel right here. Look at that. Like, right, like right there. Boom. Because that, that looks like, looks good. Should we put, like, should we buy two? No. I have a thought. All right, so we have a solar panel. That's good. That'll bring us some money in. So my thought was, where is my truck? My thought is, if I put the truck in here with the trailer, I might be able to actually get that in. Because if I back this in here, that's not the very good job of backing in there, mind you. But uh -oh. Ah! Damn it. Arr. There we go. <laughs> Problems. <laughs> no, go the other way, you idiot. All right. So my thought is, if I do this. I say this is how much space I need. So if I park this here, and then I say, all right, now I want to buy a placeable. I want to buy the lettuce greenhouse. Can I? No, I cannot. Ooh, I could put it in like this. Could put it in like that. Boom. Did it. Did it. I have no idea which greenhouse I'm filling right now. That one. Okay. All right. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to maneuver in here. Oh, good Lord. Um, but I think this is the way forward. than that. Oh, my good lord. All right. We're probably going to have to get a track to get this out of here now. <laughs> oh. Nah, it's a tree. Wait, we'll try it this way. Come on, baby. Get out. Get off the bee house. Ah. There we go. There we go. We escaped. Ah. Yeah. All right. Next time we're going to go in with a tractor, I think. 
All right, I gotta I gotta do the the water and everything for that, but oops, crash. Uh, <laughs> there is the. Let's get this truck over here so I can we can look at what we've done. All right, so I've got to go get water and manure. We'll do that next time because we got maneuvering maneuvering room here for the the um, the telehandler because it turns so tight. That's easy. I can even back it in. Um, the water tanker, that's going to be... That might be difficult. Might have to look at a smaller water. Do I have a smaller water tanker? <laughs> it's looking misc. Do I have a smaller... I have this one. It's only a thousand liters. That would be a bad thing. Um, that's... No. This one. Yeah, I, that's... This is the one I, I, I own the smallest one. That's awesome. <sighs> okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can figure it out. We'll, we'll get it sorted out. Um, we'll make sure we have lettuce growing by... Well, next time we will, we will get lettuce growing. Cool. All right. Well, we've done some things and some stuff. We got a lot more to do. We have been making money and spending it. So, yeah, six and one half dozen of the other or something like that. Until next time, I've been Derek This is Farming Simulator 15, the Pennsylvania life. Um, you need proper site development and siting of your greenhouses. That's, that's important. That's what we've learned today. It's very important. Also, the barbed wire fence doesn't make any sense anymore, but I've kept it there.